Well, we're lucky here in Bethlehem. History is all around us. And uh, as we explore the people, places, and things on Exploring Bethlehem, sometimes we like to look into the history of people, the people who, uh, in this case, came from Bethlehem, stayed only a short time, but went on to bigger and better things. And one such person was Stephen Vincent Benet, who went on to conquer the world of literature, following his humble beginnings here in Fountain Hill. A poet and writer of fiction and dramatic adaptations, Stephen Vincent Benet retold materials from American history, legend, and folklore with charm, humor, fervor, and a sense of theatricality. He was born July 22, 1898, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. His family had emigrated to Florida in the 18th century. Benet's father, an ordnance officer, and his grandfather, a general, had served in the U.S. Army. His older brother was a poet and a man of letters, William Rose Benet. Stephen spent his childhood in California and Georgia, where his father was stationed at government arsenals. His father had a discriminating taste in literature, and Stephen began to write as a child, winning prizes from the St. Nicholas Magazine. He attended Somerville Academy and later entered Yale University in 1915, having already published a collection of dramatic monologues, Five Men and Pompeii. While at Yale, he issued another volume of verse. Among his undergraduate friends were Philip Barry, Archibald McLeish, and Thornton Wilder. All would later distinguish themselves in literature. In his senior year, at Yale, he served as chairman of the Yale Literary Magazine. Graduating in 1919, he tried advertising briefly, but returned to Yale to receive his Master of Arts degree in 1920. After his novel, The Beginning of Wisdom, was published in 1921, he took a fellowship for study at the Sorbonne in Paris. He re-entered the United States, married Rosemary Carr, in 1921 and settled down to write. In 1923, he published King David and a Ballad of William Sycamore and won the nation's poetry prize. A ballad showed his preoccupation with American subjects. The best of Benet's five novels, Spanish Bayonet in 1926, is a historical adventure set in Menorca, a decade before the American Revolution. Benet spent from 1926 to 1928 in France, writing his chief work, John Brown's Body, 1928. This successful long narrative poem about the Civil War won the Pulitzer Prize in 1929. Benet returned to the United States in 1928 and settled in Rhode Island. His first collection of short stories, The Barefoot Saint, appeared in 1929, and the following year he moved to New York City. Ballads and Poems in 1931 was a gathering of 15 years of folk and other poems. Two years later, he received the Roosevelt Association Medal. In 1936, Burning Cities, New Poems appeared, and he received a Doctor of Letters degree from Middlebury College, Vermont. Benet reinforced his position as a fantastic, humorous adapter of legend and folklore collaborating with the composer Douglas Moore in a radio performance of The Headless Horseman, a redoing of Washington Irving's story. His volume of short stories, 13 O'Clock, contained The Devil and Daniel Webster, which became a minor national classic. Benet rewrote it as a one-act play and an opera. A movie and a television production have also been based upon it. Johnny Pye and the Fool Killer from 1938 attempts grotesque, macabre folk material to poetry. The poem Nightmare at Noon from 1940 warned the United States of a fascist threat. Western Star from 1943, the beginning of a projected work on the settlement of the United States, won a Pulitzer Prize posthumously in 1944. The life of this charming and popular humorist romancer and poet 
whose faith that man could overcome his devils was concretized in his work, but his life came to an untimely end March 13th, 1943. So at the corner of Ostrom and Bishop Thorpe in Fountain Hill, Caddy Corner from the St. Luke's School of Nursing and right across from St. Luke's campus, now being used as Human Resources Center for St. Luke's Hospital Center, is this building. And this was the childhood home of well-known author Stephen Vincent Benet.